I love to hear about the moon goddess. Again? Tell me, Mama. Over the Moon tells the story of Fei Fei, a young girl mourning the loss of her mother who decides to build a rocket and fly to the moon. And the lead actress's backstory is almost as fantastical. Kathy Ng was originally hired for just one day to record scratch tracks. I was really nervous. I remember getting into the studio and just like sweating a lot. But after she sang the film's big song, Rocket to the Moon, everyone in the room knew they found their star. Chang, are you calling to me? Fly away. It was a really, really beautiful moment for me. It was crazy. It was a little surreal. But they asked me to come and, and voice her for, for the actual movie. Um, and I cried a lot and I ate a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Set in China, filmmakers visited real locations to inspire the animation. And the plot is built around an ancient Chinese legend about Chang'e, the moon goddess dazzlingly voiced by Philippa Sue of Hamilton fame. If you could actually drop into one of those animated sets and spend some time there, where would you like to go? I want to ride around on one of those motorcycle things. <laughs> Explore the moon. How fun would that be? But I also just love the groundedness of her village and her um, home life. I think, and, and the food is just so tempting, so I'd go there just for food. Chonga loves it up there alone. Kimiko Glenn plays multiple roles, as does comedian Margaret Cho, who reunites in the film with longtime friend Ken Jeong. Margaret, you actually played two characters, so does that mean you worked twice as hard as Ken? Yeah. <laughs> No, because he had to like generate all the lumens to activate the uh, the, uh like the glow. Hi, I'm Gobi. What's your name? Should I assume that you got cast because of your striking physical similarities to your character? Oh wow, we need someone squishy and someone green. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. And, oh, you're here already. Um, no. Huggable. <laughs> huggable is what I meant. Huggable. 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 That's what my publicist said. Ken, you're huggable. The movie is full of heart, tradition, family bonds, and meaningful lessons about loss and love for audiences of all ages. It really is one of my favorite projects I've ever been a part of. All right, Over the Moon is rated PG. It's gonna start streaming on Netflix this Friday, and I really enjoyed it. This will come as no shock to you guys. It made me cry three times. Oh, that's so but cool. But in a good three way. Yes. What about your kids? Did your kids get to see it yet? Yes, my son actually watched with me, and he's almost 15, and he really liked it too, so I think that says something. Did he yeah, cry three times? Off. He did not. He just laughed at me for crying three times. Okay, good. <laughs>